You want to do Valentine's Day PJs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're the Valentine's Day girls. Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm walking you through, it's like already hard to talk this early, but I'm walking you through my 5.30, like 5.30, 5.45 a.m. routine. You guys know in the past, I used to wake up easily, 5.30, because I had really big goals. It wasn't because, oh my gosh, I want to wake up at 5.30, I think it'd be really cool. No, it was because I had goals and I knew to maximize the time of the day, I had to wake up earlier. So, I'm right back there. I have some big goals that I want to achieve in like six months. I've been writing down my goals, different things I want to achieve this year. Um, I made a whole goal video, so if you want to see that, I'll leave that down below but yeah I have some big goals if I wake up early I will achieve them it's just something that I know it's something that I know works for me and I think that that's the most important thing because I've made how to wake up early videos how to wake up at 5 30 a.m. videos and I always say you know start the night before do this do that and yeah starting the night before is great yes organizing and getting everything together so that when you wake up everything's smooth yes but having something bigger than everything, like something so exciting that is pulling you out of bed, you're gonna be able to do it. Having your really big why. If it's just, well, I kinda wanna wake up earlier, I think I need to, you're not gonna do it. Cause waking up to dark is not that exciting. I'm coming to see. My dogs aren't really used to this routine. <laughs> well, she's certainly not constipated. Violet. That was the biggest poop I have ever seen. <laughs> Parent life. Okay, you guys said you're really liking the dog voices. What do you think about waking up early, Wyatt? I don't like it. What do I want to wake up early for? I want to wake up early because I have goals and I watch my mom's videos and she says to wake up nice and early. My mom just talks to herself all day. Why would I listen to her? Wyatt, she's not talking to herself. She has a YouTube channel. Still dark. Whew. Promise you would feel better if you hydrate. It's one of those things people are like, just drink some water when you wake up. But I swear, drink some water when you wake up, you will feel so much better. First up is the hardest. Mm -hmm. So like I said, planning the night before is helpful too. So we like to do little things like this, where we have our espresso shot, and everything right by the machine and then we even put the little pod in there too. I love this flavor. It's like armoretto or something. How cute is a little espresso? It's so freaking cute. Oh my god. Eat the night before because then that way you can wake up and just get right to it. But if you are waking up significantly earlier, like 5.30, if you didn't get things done the night before, you still kind of have some time. So last night was not a night that I was able to really like get too much together because I have an infant. Sometimes they're unpredictable. So I will go through my planner, which we're gonna do in a second. But first, just planning on what I'm going to eat for lunch. It is a Green Chef week, which is so exciting. I love when it's a Green Chef week. Green Chef is a meal kit delivery service. I can either pick the shrimp and grits for lunch, the cumin roasted pork chops, or the Mediterranean chicken. And all this is from the keto plan. I think I'm going to do the blackened shrimp and grits because that just sounds so good. And it's keto and gluten free. So that's one thing out of the way that I already know for today is what I'm having for lunch. And then it's time to go through my planner. I go to my planner and I just start seeing what I have to do, checking everything off, crossing everything out. Yeah. yeah. So I change into my workout clothes and we're on the morning walk with the doggies. So I was just telling Jared and I read this on a blog and I will leave the blog down below. <laughs> Always grabbing the booty. Um, and that is the secret to waking up early every single day and sticking with it because we've talked about this in habit videos. Any of us 
can say we're going to do something, do it for a couple days, and then fall yeah. out of it. Yeah. Yeah. We've all done it. Yeah. We say we're gonna do something and then we don't do it. The secret to success for a morning routine is the three Ps. Positive, physical, and productive. And some people can practice all three. Some people will just be motivated by one or two. Figure out which one you're motivated by, but I'll go through them right now. So positive would be like what I said to you guys this morning. I wake up and I have a big why. I think about my goals. I think about what it is I want to achieve and that more hours in the day will help me get there. For me, it's juicy, it's exciting, and I'm excited to wake up because I have something I'm working towards. The second one is physical, so literally what I'm doing right now. I look forward to my morning walks, as you guys know, every single day. Barry! <sighs> oh no, donut boy. Donut boy! Stop and smell the violets. Yeah, you're looking, aren't they pretty? <gasps> But anyway, last night I made Violet's baby food and then I jarred it all up and that just made me feel good and productive and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to feed her tomorrow morning. That was another motivation to get out of bed is being productive. Maybe you want to organize your room. Maybe you want to organize your house or your things or like I said, just plan your week and waking up early allows you to do that. So try incorporating the three Ps can incorporate all of them. You can incorporate just one, positive, physical, and productive. Okay, so here's everything I use to make my salted caramel protein shake. So we'll start with the protein. I go in with lean protein. The flavor is salted caramel. Then for my fat, I'm gonna go in with some creamy almond butter. Then to give it that salty taste and also for electrolytes, I'm going in with Celtic sea salt. For my fiber, I'm using organic flax milk. For a little sweetness, I'm using half a banana. And I'm going in with organic mixed greens. So just a shake hack, in case your shakes don't come out that good, people have asked me before, so I just wanted to show you. I do a handful of greens and I do the milk. You wanna start with those first because you want that to be at the bottom so that the greens blend. And then I go in with everything else. And then I have three ice cubes. So, or maybe there's four, I don't know. Such a pretty day, so I thought I would sit outside and drink my protein shake. So after I drink my protein shake, I then shower and do my makeup. So we're gonna meet back after I do those things because I'm gonna save my makeup and my shower. Like I'm gonna do a whole self-care video for you guys, including new mom makeup, but just like my shower routine and all that, self-tanning, everything you wanna know about that. I just wanna make that a super detailed video. And I'm going to be doing um, a hair growth journey and like my whole hair routine in that video as well. So this is the outfit of the day. I found this wrap shirt. I used to wear this a lot. Obviously I was pregnant last year, so I wasn't wearing a lot of my clothes, but it's like the perfect cute, but like practical nursing shirt, just because it's just easy to like unwrap to nurse. Yeah, this is the outfit of the day. So the last part of my morning routine is making food. I decided to make the shrimp green chef meal just because I thought it sounded so interesting. Shrimp and grits, like, sounds delicious and kind of like cozy for a winter recipe. So as I said in the beginning of the video, Green Chef is a meal kit delivery service and it is a USDA certified organic company, which is something that I love. I've tried so many of their different plans. I've tried the paleo, the keto, which is what we're going to be making now for lunch. I've tried the vegetarian, the vegan. They have so many different things for different lifestyles. So you'll definitely find something for you, for your family. Something else that I love is my subscribers that have tried Green Chef and said that they were beginner cooks, found it super easy and that's what I love. I actually learned how to cook from meal kit delivery services just like Green Chef, just because they make it super easy. Like as you can see here, step-by-step -step instructions with photos. I'm such a visual person, I need the photos. I'm sure a lot of you guys appreciate the photos just to see how things are cut or how they're laid out. And I personally like to do Green Chef when I know I'm going to be busy or if I just want to take the guessing game out of going grocery shopping, deciding what I want to eat. I just love that it's just such a nice treat. Yeah, everyone in my house loves them. My husband loves them. I love them. And like I said before, you're going to get a variety of different foods, meals. Also, if you do want to give Green Chef a try, just go to Green Chef 
chef.us slash 90samo and use code 90samo to get $90 off your first order. So I'll have everything linked down below, super easy. But for now, yeah, I'm just going to be cooking this up for lunch and then yeah you guys can follow along with things you have at home you guys can definitely recreate this at home i'm going to be recreating this as well so you just want to have shrimp in a bowl and roughly chop a green pepper then i'm just adding some blackened spices and then just add some salt as well as a tablespoon of olive oil and then you just want to mix that in a bowl how simple that was the easiest preparation for shrimp ever then, as far as the grits go, we're using cauliflower rice. So you just want to heat up a pan with olive oil and add your cauliflower rice. I love this. They also said to add some salt and pepper, so I added that in there as well. You just want to cook your cauliflower rice for about two to three minutes. Add a half a cup of water and cook for an additional three to four minutes. Then on another pan, add some butter as well as the shrimp and the peppers. And you just want to cook until the shrimp is done. Anywhere from five to six minutes. I like everything a little crispy, so I cooked just a little bit longer. And Green Chef kills it again. I was wondering how the, the grits were gonna come out cheesy and creamy and adding the cheddar cheese, cream cheese, and almond flour. You get this delicious grits consistency and it was cauliflower the whole time. So then you just add it to a bowl and it came with this really good dressing. It was like this lemon vinaigrette, lemon chai vinaigrette. Honestly, I didn't even need it. It was so good. So thank you guys so much for... <laughs> I don't even believe you cooked it. You don't believe it? That was really good. It was the best. Too good. The best keto meal we ever had. So now, since this video is going live on Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So you guys saw this in a recent haul. I bought this protein sugar cookie mix, and I just thought it would be fun to make some Valentine's Day cookies with this sparkle gel that I found at Target. It's like an icing gel. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. It's cool to shine. Gonna stay on and play. I got so many funny games. We could do today. And we can compare. Stay on.